Okay, so this is the elephant project, part two. I'm not sure if there will be a part three. Um, I have spent just a couple of minutes smoothing and trying to integrate the legs that I attached. And I also made a little tiny tail that I haven't attached yet. But um, just trying to work on the basic shape and uh, figuring out where things are going. Now, if I was gonna attach this tail right now, um, I would probably wanna have this touch. So, I mean, if you have the tail like this, there's a, probably a pretty good chance sometime in the life of this work that this tail will break. So you're gonna wanna make sure that is attached, but I'm gonna wait to do that. I'm gonna attach the head right now. So let me put this aside. Okay. Here I am, that's the back. This is gonna be the front right here. And this is the head. So again, I probably spent a couple of minutes just trying to smooth this out. And I wanna show, I'm gonna do a couple of eyes. I'll clean this tool. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna decide, I've already made indentations and you can see a head-on view. It looks pretty centered. Um, the eyes do, the parallax is fine. I've even made a bump on the head. Again, I can show you what I'm doing. I'm just rubbing from the underside and trying to get the quality of the elephant I think will be believable. And now for the eyes, I'm gonna take this chisel point and I'm going to just gently make this kind of upside down C shape. And you can rely on this paintbrush again for smoothing. Okay, so there's my upside down C. Now I'm gonna go this way and look at the parallel I'm holding. Here it's gonna be almost parallel with the surface and I'm just gonna come in and press and I'm actually making the eyelid now. So I have an eyelid going on there. And I'm gonna come in with the pencil point and I'm gently going to indent this corner of the eye and come in and indent that corner of the eye. Okay, and we'll just start. So, do another one. And you can also push out from the inside too. You see that? I could change that shape of that eye just by rubbing it. I'm just gonna give a little support. It's thinner on this side. There. Kinda looks like a person a little bit. There's that eye. And press on this side. Yeah, this clay is thinner over here. So you get the idea. So now the concept here, I'm gonna try and attach this. And the head looks so much bigger, right? That it's not gonna work. But watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this material and I'm gonna start to coax, like I made the body, how I choke this down. I'm gonna start to coax this clay into a smaller opening. I'm hopefully in this demo, I'm in camera all the time as I'm working. I will see when I'm done. Okay, so I'm choking it down to a point where I can get my finger in there. I need a little support, okay, there. And I'm gonna to start to pinch it onto my finger. So now I'm narrowing it and pinching it around my finger. I don't want it to totally collapse in. I want a gap. And the finger is a good start. Okay. Um, from part one to part two, I let, have let this um, work sit out for probably three hours while I was online conducting classes. And so I didn't blow dry it. I just left it at room temperature. Uh, the AC is on and it firmed up enough where I can manipulate 
the clay, but not have it collapse on me totally. So there. Now we're starting to get a little bit smaller opening. Okay. So now I'm going to put this paintbrush in there and I'm going to choke it down more. Again, I want an opening. I don't want to close it off totally. And I'm trying to get an extension here. What I'm trying to do, you see this little plug or extension off the head? I'm going to make a hole and I'm going to insert this into the body and that's what's going to help hold the head up. I am definitely going to need a support. And I'm going to get a smaller bat right now. Put the elephant on this. Here's the head. Okay, They're pretty close. I'll make it a little bit smaller. I still want that extension coming off the head. Whoop. Whoop. Camera moved. Sorry about that. Not an earthquake. There. That's a good start for now. A lot more work to do. So here's how it's going to attach. So I'm going to take the fiddling knife and I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to twist and open this up. I don't want to cut through. I have to be careful. So I'm going to open this up again like this. Just opening that up to receive the end of this plug. Okay. And now, a little bit more. Let's take a look. See, I'll give you a side view. I still have the creases to do and other things. Just making a few adjustments here off camera. You probably didn't see what I just did. Right, now let's take a look, see here. That's pretty darn close. So now it looks kind of funky, but I'm going to be pressing it in. And now we'll just scratch to attach on the inside first. Okay, I like to use the chisel point, using water. Okay, and then score this. One of the last things I add is the ears, okay. And again, I'm going to have some clay ready before I put it in because I'm going to need to support it. Um, I'm going to make some clay stands that will help support the head. And I'll probably let it rest for 24 hours before I remove the stand and then finish with detail. So, all right, that's that. Let me get a piece of scrap clay. Great, okay, so I'm gonna use the paintbrush and I'm gonna wet this. This is how I made the bear uh, at the beginning of the first video. Uh, the first part of the video, same with the elephant. And, um, those demos, except for the texture on the outside of the bear, uh, we're probably maybe 30 minutes to make these so now I'm going to come here like this and twist I have this started okay I'm going to scoot him towards the back and I'm going to take a small piece of clay make a coil 
Okay, and here's what I was talking about, a little post or stilt. I'm gonna come up underneath here and I'm just gonna squeeze this to keep the head elevated up. And then now I can continue blending. And the ears, these were the pieces I cut off the hind legs, okay? So these ears I'm gonna thin out. I have another video of, uh, I made a great white shark. Um, you'll see I, when I make the fins, I do this too. So, and this is my inspiration here. I have the picture, All right? So you always want references. Just looking at the ears as I shape them. Oh. And look at this, I'm gonna just smooth that. This is gonna be the left ear. And they actually have a little fold here. Look at that. It's gonna come back into their head. So this is going to be one. I still have a lot of blending to do, but I'll do the other one now. Okay. Like that. And we'll fold this way. Different here. I think I did it that way. Yep. Okay. So the ears I'm going to attach in a little bit. First, I need to just blend this. That's just, you got the basics of the construction technique. And then now it's the detail part. So you can do a quick build and then let it firm up and then take the time to do the detail. So this is the first stages, well, the first two, right there. Okay, so you get the idea of how to make an elephant. Um, the last image I'll have will be when this guy is done, okay? So that's it for assembling a clay elephant.